hybrid metal 3D printing. Now, if I said that quick, it'd probably be a tongue twister. And to be fair, for people watching right now, I think a lot of us are still learning about this technology. Now, you've been developing it for 20 years, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of us who are just learning about it today, maybe even this video. Mm -hmm. So let's start from the beginning, Yuto Sun, and let's talk about what does that even mean? What mm -hmm. does this Lumex do and how can it help people? Well, sure. So I want to cover the basic first, as you said. So Lumex is a hybrid metal 3D printer, which means that this machine has subtractive and also additive manufacturing capability. So the Lumex is a basically powder bed type metal 3D printer, which has spindle inside. The basic procedure, basic process is there, the part will be built up by laser, te laser sintering technology. And every 10 layers, this machine performs a high speed meeting. So because of the meeting capability, this machine can make the surface, make the smooth surface uh, machine by spindle without the EDM any post-process. So this is a hybrid. Okay, so I'm understanding the concept a little bit better. And if I'm someone out there that's trying to figure it out, mm -hmm. right? Where can this best be utilized? What are my overall benefits? When we think, Matt, sir, a lot of times we're thinking about the reduction of parts, right? Mm -hmm. Remo machine removal is mm -hmm. what we call it most of the time, where chips are flying away mm -hmm. instead of being built. So now I'm learning from Matt Sura about the Lumex, and I'm going, okay, well now we're doing additive manufacturing, but there's a spindle on the inside. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of this goes to the mold and dye world, but let's talk about where a customer or a potential customer can find true benefits in a Lumex machine and in the technology as a whole. And then let's step over there and show them a couple of cool parts about what they can create. Sure. So with the Lumex, the complex interior structure, such as deep ribs, deep ribs can be made as again, like with a smooth surface machined by spindle. And this eliminates post-process like EDM. And uh, of course, uh, we can create uh, like a gas band structure or a cooling channel within dial mode. And that's why we say it, that our major, ta ta our targeted customer base is a dial mode. And uh, also we have uh, having a spindle in, on inside as a 3D printer, we have uh, many other uh, benefits as well. Of course, the, because of meeting capability, this machine can make the like a near net 3D shape with a, like a smooth surface inside a big, like, like in, in, in complicated structure like deep ribs. And uh, of course, uh, when we have a large, large area to machine, in that case, you might have more benefits to use machine center as a post process. In that case, the lumens can cut a small part of printed component and use it for a different surface. If you have experience in machining a 3D component part, you might be told that, oh, I just added extra thickness on surface, you just cut it around. But if you cut the metal part, it is important to have a reference surface. Otherwise, you cannot make a part with the precision. So in that case, the Lumex has a, a, a spindle and also share the coordinate on the table and the spindle with the laser. So we can make the very like a very established different surface so that make it easier for operator who does post-process. This is a major benefit that our machine has. Another benefit is uh, because the problem of metal laser, general metal laser sintering machine is uh, its laser system. So time to time, you might be required to adjust the laser focus system or laser system. Otherwise, it affects the quality of the process and the quality of the part. Because the Lumex has a well established reference table and spindle, the machine can use it to compensate this laser system on their own. So this is the reason why the Lumex can make the part with constant reliability. Uh, Yuto son, that's a really great explanation. I'm personally starting to understand it better. I'm a really hands-on, touch and feel kind of person. That's how I learn best. And I want to look at these parts over here, but before we step over there, I also want to reiterate, this is 20 years of technology for you. So even though this is new for me and some of the other people out there, and we go, wow, this is something of tomorrow. This is the future. It's been 20 years of development. And in fact, you've actually increased the speeds and some of the other aspects of this machine over that time. Would you like to share a little bit of that with the audience? Sure, exactly. So we started developing this hybrid metal 3D printer in 1998. And in 2002, we have exhibited very first prototype Lumex machine in Jimstoff. So this is year 2022. So it's been like a 20 year anniversary for us in terms of exhibition. 
and we exhibited upgraded Lumex Alphacity 25. We increased the speed of process by 70%. And also, we, now this machine has a larger powder hopper for more, um, um, for more, for longer, for longer extended operation. All right, Yuto-san, so let's go take a look at some of these parts. I know the audience is a lot like me in many cases where we just want to kind of look at the details. We're talking about mold and dye a lot of times. You're talking about these unique capabilities where these machines can help them. And I'm starting to learn that because there's 20 years of development here, it's not one of those things that says, let's give this a try and see if it works. It's working. And here's how you can utilize it. And here's some of the parts you can create, right? Yes. So if you think of like AM 3D printed part, you may think, okay, this is how it looks. But actually, our machine can make this smooth surface part because, again, we have a spindle inside. So, again, because uh, we built part with a laser sintering, and also every 10 years we cut a machine. That's why we can have a very, very smooth surface with precision in the deep leaves that it's very difficult for us to, to pass process. And also, now we have developed many applications to help our dial mode and injection molding quality and cycle time. With our new application, which we have developed over years, we can control the size of a hole. So this actually, this sample work shows a gas bend structure. So it means that this tiny, this uh, surface has a tiny hole, bunch of tiny holes, which goes through the air, but it doesn't go like any melted metal or resin. And it, is, it can be utilized for better quality and better cycle time for injection molding. The holes are so small in that. I'm not even sure <laughs> if the camera can pick it up, but that is fascinating. Wow, that's beautiful work. Now, the only thing I'm seeing currently, Yudo Sun, is when I look at this machine and I think of molding dye, I sometimes think of bigger parts. Are there more machines and bigger sizes that we could take a look at? Yes, we have. So let's take a look. Let's do that. <laughs> 